Hey. You should have done yourself favor and died while you had chance, Kroshka. Great. Hmm. Where are you going? If you can move, leave. Trouble never comes alone. Right. Roger that, Rasputin. I'll get right the fuck out. But I didn't. I couldn't. Where was I gonna go? So we came to an understanding. He would put up with me just as long as I pulled my own weight. And that was my shitty start to six long months. It's been about eight weeks now since I lost track of Claire. The old man pulled my battered ass out of the wreckage and patched me up. As for the bracelet, mine never changed color. And I never turned into one of those things. Lucky me, right? As soon as I was back on two legs, the old guy told me I had to help with hunting. Basically, it was on me to kill my own food. House rules. Can you use gun? Uh, more or less? Good. You collect on bullets. You run out, not my problem. Look, I get it. I won't be a burden. When hunt is finished, you go to sawmill entrance deep in forest. The big gate. I remember. It is very important to get there by sundown. Otherwise, monsters will have Kroshka for dinner. Yum, yum, yum. Well, thanks for scaring my appetite away. I help you, now you help me. Get this beautiful after this very pain. Yeah, yeah, let's get this hunt on the road before you die of old age. I know I have to eat, but... Poor thing. You will get used to it. Fuck! I hate using guns! Stop whining! Keep working! You need washed mouth out with soap. All right, Barry. I think that's a really great idea. I'm not going to try. Then go search for the food you like. Snake, rat, hair. Maybe you find a wild hamburger.
Are you gonna let me shoot them or do you wanna complain some more? Man, I gotta focus. How did Claire hold her gun again? my good girl petticoat so it doesn't get dirty when you are done your date. yes sir
That was it. I couldn't take another second of getting muscled around by some man who thought he knew better than me. Why don't we find a way off the island, I asked. Yes, he said. No point. You need face reality. His house, his rules. But I wasn't about to give up hope. Not yet. All I kept thinking was... All I kept thinking about was my dad, actually. That night, I had a dream Barry was on his deathbed. He looked really sad. Nobody was with him. <laughs> Nobody to nag. He had no fire left. When I woke up, I realized I'd been crying. <laughs> 